been thinking about our decision to keep things casual. Thought I'd make sure you're still alright with it. In case you haven't noticed, I never stopped chasing you. We've been running a long time. That takes real stamina. It could be years before I'm on Brilliant's throne. Seems a shame to limit my options in the here and now. You seem to know what I like. Heard of any opportunities I should explore? There's only one, Risha. I'll never settle for second best. I don't think you should either. Good answer. I look forward to continuing this discussion later. Our conversation's just starting. I've got plenty more to say. We won't run out of things to talk about. Good to know. We can't just stand here staring at each other. We have some exciting caper to pull off, don't we? Guess who found a potential accomplice in the Debrillian aristocracy? Feast your eyes on this hollow embossed, genuine flimsiplast invitation. See that fancy arabesque lettering? Hand drawn, in ink, classy. Count Merritt Renald requests the favor of your presence at a discreet location in the Galactic Senate Tower on Coruscant at a time of your choosing. Does that invitation say why Baron Fancy Pants needs a face to face? Or why can't he talk to you by hollow? Nobles are like gangsters. They won't crew with someone they've never met in person. Count Reneld is one of the most popular nobles on Dubrillion. He's also secretly organizing a rebellion against the king. His invitation is addressed to Risha Drayan, royal heir to the Drayan dynasty. He's taking me very seriously. I didn't think you were broadcasting your true identity. I had no choice. Risha from Nar Shada doesn't carry the same weight as Risha the future queen. I'm contacting him by hollow to arrange our meeting. Wanted you here to help me get a read on him. Opening a channel. Whoa. This is a tremendous moment, your royal heiress. I grew up hearing tales of the Draen dynasty, the great battles your ancestors fought. I never believed I'd meet a member of that proud bloodline in person. You have my deepest sympathies for your family's exile. Risha wants back into Debrillian politics. You can make that happen, right? You must be the starship captain who recovered the crown of Debrillian. My world is in your debt. The king wants that crown, and my head. He won't be happy if he finds out we're talking. The man has lost all reason. He must be removed from power, but in a way that spares our world a bloody civil war. I believe the common people and aristocracy alike would embrace the Draen dynasty heir, especially if she wears the crown of Drabrillion. Nothing is ever that easy. Skip to the part where our lives get complicated. It will not be enough to dethrone the king. He must be replaced by someone the people view as one of their own. Right now, you are an outsider. The only way to change that is to marry someone from the existing aristocracy. Get married? To who? Well, <clears throat> the only available suitor is... <sighs> Great stars, this is awkward. I am offering myself in marriage to you. Risha already has a man in her life. Forgive me, I should have realized. Have you two joined? Uh, not exactly, no. Please understand, I do not desire to come between you. That said, the final choice should be yours. I understand my proposal is abrupt, but I wished to make my intentions clear and not waste your valuable time. I certainly don't expect an immediate response. All I ask is that you consider this for the good of the brilliant. That'll be easier to do once we've met in person. I'm on my way to Coruscant. See you there, Count. Well, that wasn't awkward at all. That was the worst blind date ever. You've known this guy all of two minutes and he proposes marriage? Crazy. This isn't romance, it's just politics. Under the circumstances, I should probably take this meeting alone. Be back soon, Captain. Never talked to a complete stranger for that long before. Count Renald gives to charities, builds orphanages, 
creates wildlife preserves, and those are just his hobbies. You ever consider we've been wasting our lives? I knew it. He pulled every smooth maneuver in the flight manual. That's the thing. He wasn't smooth. He was actually kind of awkward. Stop being so paranoid. I told the Count I needed time to think about his proposal. That'll give me a chance to run a deep background check. If this guy is as good as he seems, he just might help me overthrow the King without getting married. Count Renald is a man of his word. He sends me daily updates about his rebellion's progress. Incredibly sweet, beautifully written updates. I knew taking to Brilliant's throne would be a challenge, but this is getting complicated. I'm not falling for him, but I might have to take this marriage proposal seriously. It's smart politics. If you think I'm letting some wealthy pretty boy come between us, guess again. Don't you get it? My whole future will be spent with wealthy pretty people. When I am queen, my days of racing the hyperlanes are over. Can you honestly see yourself settling down onto Brilliant? I'll stop bothering you. I needed to talk, and you're the only person who understands me. Does your new boyfriend understand you like I do? Because if he doesn't, you should think about that. He's not my boyfriend. I'm sure there's trouble somewhere with our name on it. What do you say we go take all its credits? I can't hold off Count Renald forever. I have to answer his marriage proposal someday. But I want to make an informed decision. I was hoping you could help me out with that. In private. If I didn't know better, I'd say you were finally surrendering to my charms. Let's not go that far. Yet. I still need convincing. That was a very persuasive argument. Who's it gonna be, Risha? The Count or me? I should examine your argument in more detail. Can we run through it again? You know, crowns and thrones aren't that great. I could maybe live without them. Assuming you survive me, I should kill you both for this insult. Don't do anything hasty. This isn't what it looks like, I swear. Yes it is. You have a problem with that? If you prefer this soft, passionless thing to me, then keep her. Otherwise, throw her out the airlock. Okavi, settle down. I'm not kicking anyone off this ship. I didn't mean to lead you on. Risha's always been the girl for me. She always will be. Your answer allows me to keep my honor. For this, I will let you both live. Ugh, you and her? That's exactly what I'd expect from you. What other friendships have you been keeping from me? Aside from this, I've been a very good boy. Don't believe me, ask Corso. I'm glad there are only two women on this ship. I'll assume you don't have a thing for Mon Calamari. We should probably cool things off for a bit. I have some thinking to do. Things under Brilliant have taken a turn. The Kings put a death mark on Count Renald's head. When the citizens heard that, they rebelled. The King imposed martial law to stop the rioting. But that got the aristocracy riled up. The whole planet's going to war. Where do the other nobles stand? Are they with the Count, or the King? Some support Count Renald. Others remain loyal to the King. They're all looking to benefit from the fight. Needless to say, the Count has his hands full just staying alive. But even with all that's happened, he still wants to marry me. I can't keep putting him off. Any advice how I should play this? You can't marry the Count. You're spending the rest of your life with me. What? I asked you for advice, not... Do you really mean that? Oh, perfect. Time's up. That's him calling on the Hollow. All right. Let's do this. Merit, I'm glad you're safe. From what I hear, the fighting got worse after you escaped. I cannot spare De Brilliant from war. But perhaps we can still create a better future together. I realize forging a true relationship takes time, and our marriage won't be consummated for some time, but I am hopeful. 
My proposal stands, dear Risha. Will you marry me? Come on. This is a no-brainer. I mean, sure, he's rich, handsome, and popular, but I'm me. I'm sorry, Merit, but I can't argue with logic like that. He's had my heart longer than you. I hope we can still be friends. I'll need you to rebuild our world when the war ends. Of course. I look forward to the day you grant me amnesty, so I may return to Debrillion. Farewell, Risha. May the stars watch over you. That ended better than I expected. Except for that whole part with my world being at war. You said no to the Count's proposal. But I seem to recall you had a second offer on the table. It's under consideration. I promise not to keep you waiting for long. That's enough politics and relationship issues for one day. Let's go steal something expensive. I always better after a good caper. Didn't think you could still surprise me, but proposing in front of Count Reneld? That was a whammy. I wasn't sure if you were serious then, but I am now. And my answer is yes. Whatever happens, however long it takes, when I'm finally Queen of Dubrillion, you'll be my king. You think the people of your world are ready for a non-human king? We've had non-human royalty before. They were all assassinated. But I'll hire you better guards. We'll have a royal wedding someday, but let's do something personal right now. I, Risha Dreyan, take you as my future king. I promise to be faithful and always apologize when I get snippy with you. Except when you're wrong. What you said, plus this. I'll never skim more than 10% off the royal treasury. Only 10%? You really do love me. What do you say we make this even more official? So, how does it feel to be married? Come to my quarters this time. I've made some modifications for you. How can I resist that offer? You never told me you were an engineering genius. I'm staying in the captain's quarters from now on. Just because we're married doesn't mean we can settle down. We've still got lots of people trying to kill us.